Welcome to the second part uh, of the tutorial how to create this beautiful water theme with this boat you can uh, really steer with all the physics effects, shader effects and the water. This is the second part so today we will talk about the shader of the water. This is what we did the last time. So uh, currently our water has a standard shader um, but we really want to use um, the render pipeline, the lightweight render pipeline, so you have to activate it. To activate these go to window, package manager and say all packages, make sure that you either installed the lightweight render pipeline or the high definition render pipeline and these shader graph plugins. Then in project uh, settings graphics you can set the a pipeline asset, you can create this with create, rendering, pipeline asset, you do not have to set anything, just drag and drop it here and then you should see create shader PBR graph. This is our um, water graph and with this graph we will create a material water and as soon as you create both you should uh, have in the expector the possibility to select the water graph. We double click the water graph and we will start to compose our shader. So at first we need a position node because at lower positions we want to have another color. Um, so let's do this by add this position with an offset. So the offset is uh, back to one and we just add it here. So, and um, we only want to add it to the height and the height is a um, Y value. So we can split this vector three and this is RGBR, but um, it really is X, Y, Z and nothing. <laughs> uh, and here is a Y value. So this is how it is. So now we have a white color um, if the waves are very high and the black color lower, if they are very low. And we can set the offset here by this X value. Next up, we add a divide component, just one input is this one and a vector one here. And I call it, um, height fade. So we make this as a property and this one too. And the first variant or property is, uh, no, not offset, it's offset. And the other one is the fade. Uh, we can save this, drag and drop this to a bido. And we should set the fade to a proper value, for example, one and this one here. And as soon as we change it, for example, to 1.5 or 0 0.5, uh, it's a little bit different um, how fast these colors change. We do not want values that are higher than one or lower than zero, so we can clamp them. Just vector one in, vector one out, and clamp them between zero and one. So next up, we need more space. Uh, lerp, linear interpolation. Um, this one goes in, this one goes out. And we want to have two colors. And these two colors are now used here. And uh, we interchange black and white by two bluish colors. And here are the colors. If this do not update directly, you can always save the asset and then it should work a little bit better, uh, I guess. This is how it works. Okay, this is now our water. Uh, the last thing is a Fresnel effect because everything has Fresnel. Uh, okay. We have to specify the strength. We convert it as a property. 
Kernel of Strengths, a linear interpolation, and we will use the Fresnel effect, um, the current color, and a new color, and this is our Fresnel color. We we'll set this also as a property and put this into the albedo. So our albedo is done now. We can already test it. And here you can see what it does. So um, one color is a color with a very high um, position value. This is red. So you can see the red value color here. The blue color is down below. And the Fresnel color is white, so if we get really close to the bottom, everything is nearly white. And if we look straight down to it, uh, the Fresnel is disappearing. So this looks quite white. Normally we should use a light bluish color here. So this is what it looks like. This is our albedo color. So let's um, start with a normal map. And for that, you will need a texture. So I'll put you a link down into the description. Um, there you will find the GitHub repository of this project. You can download the complete project and there is a normal map, this one. Um, it's basically a normal map for water and we will use this now in our shader graph. Okay, here is a normal node. So um, we have to add a sample texture to D and this goes out to our normal node. Um, we have to set a texture, so texture to the asset. Go to text normal map and just drag and drop it here. So now we have to specify the UEs. You can already see the normal map is working. Um, we will use a tiling and offset so that we can animate this normal map. So we have to set the offset. Um, we will multiply two values. One value is the vector 2. And the other one is the vector 2 as well. So this is the speed, for example, 2 and 2. And uh, this is one special node called time. And we connect the time to x and y and you see uh, it's moving here and now we can see that the water is moving it's a little bit too fast for water um, slow down the speed and there we go this looks a little bit more like water so the trick with this normal maps and water is that you overlap them uh, to achieve that we will create a subgraph so you can always select some parts of your graph and say right click, convert to subgraph, and then you can give it a name, for example, uh, normal mover, and then you will have it here as one node. You can double click and see it. So one thing uh, we want to have as a property is a speed. So now I can actually call it speed save this and go back to my other shader graph here and create the normal mover again it's now a simple node and i can combine these two and i can also set a different speed value here for example 0 0.5 and 1 and normally this should be animated too but i guess uh, it's still in preview so uh, we can blend this too by a blend node. Now it's showing everything. Um, blend one and two. And now they are both blend over each other. And this one is a little bit too fast. <coughs> and now it looks a little bit more realistic. So let me just put in some lower values that we really have one slow moving normal map and the other one is a little bit faster and that's it you can already see the water here okay one last note we want to supply is emission and um, a perfect 
thing to put there is a reflection probe. Um, but we want to divide it by a certain factor. And this is a vector one. Put it here. Say convert to property. Reflection factor. And there we go. Save the effort. Uh, maybe we set it to one as default so that we can see the water or maybe 0 0.1 or 2, 5, 6, 50, 50 looks good. So to the reflection to actually work, we create a reflection probe. It's under light reflection probe and we just, um, create the cube as big as our scene is. So, and with a real time on a wake, we will bake it. And there we go. This is our water effect. Uh, and that's it for the current episode. You can download everything uh, from GitHub. The link is in the description. You will get the normal map there. And in the next episode, we will let some objects float. So make sure to subscribe and see you next time. Subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials.